Hi, it's me again with Crow Roll Tips and Tricks. Really easy pattern. And if we look real close, this thing is uh, interactive field tool twice. And there's a little bit different situation in there. There's the one I made. Really easy to make. And kind of fun and learn some tools. So we're going to start off with a square. We're going to zoom in here. And we're going to take the shape tool and hold down the control button. And when we do that, only the node that we get is going to be there. Now we're going to bring in indexing lines. Let's make this thing a little bit smaller. And we're going to put that node right there. Now, if we look, the hairline is right on the line. But if we take that line now and make it like 12 points, let's make it a little bit thicker. 16 points, and we go to object and convert the outline to an object. And if we left click and right click, you notice that the line is right dead center. So control D to make a duplicate alternate C to rotate it and rotate it 90 degrees. Control D, control D. Now let's get rid of our indexing lines. Let's take all this and let's weld it. Now we have that. Control D and make a duplicate and rotate it 45 degrees, which is half that, and weld it again. You could probably weld it all at the same time. Now, what's kind of the most important thing to do is to go ahead and take the, let's see how big this thing is. It's, wow, 23 inches. Let's make it a little bit smaller. So it's 11, so let's make our nudge factor 12. And we are going to, well, we don't even have to do that right now. We can do this right here. Let's uh, take a two-point line, start moving, and hold down the control button and hit P. That put it right in the middle. Let's take our smart fill tool, and we're going to set it on that burnt orange, and we're going to fill both sides in. Now we're going to get the interactive fill tool. The one on the left is selected, so we're going to go from there to there, and we're going to bring yellow into that spot. Now what's nice, I only did half of it. Now I'm gonna select this one and get the interactive fill tool. And we're gonna go the opposite way and this time we're gonna put yellow here. Now, with that said, we're gonna have a little bit of a line down the middle. Well, no, we're not. Let's, let's take away the outline. Well, because we use the smart fill tool, that's why I'm gonna nudge it out of the way. We are nudging the lines out of the way. And if we look really, really close, maybe when we, maybe not now, but let's do this. Let's select it all, control G to group it. Let's go ahead and hit P, put it in the center of the, well, that's in the center of the page. Let's just delete that. Hit P, put that in the center of the page. And then you can hold down the shift key and double click on the rectangle tool and put a rectangle around it. Make the rectangle black go up to object, order, backup page, and that's what you get. Now, if you can see a little bit of a line there, which you can, what we can do is select our item. You see several fields, go up to object and group and ungroup it. Set our nudge factor on something really little like 0 .001. Now, if we look at that black line, where was that? There's a black line. If we grab just this, you can see the fountain fill selected. And I'm going to left arrow click just twice. And it got rid of the black line. Now let's get rid of the black box for just a second. Let's go ahead and grab this and group it together. And then put the black box back. It really would look better if I would have made a longer or thicker line but that looks pretty cool. That's a pretty neat pattern. And you could actually, we could have cut it into quarters and interactive fill each corner. Anyway, a little fun project. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.